What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Crash Blade Gaming and do you like watching your opponent suffer? If you do, this deck is one of the decks for you simply because you stuck one of their Pokemon in the active spot and then you slowly just piece away at all of their bench Pokemon until you KO everything or until they're like, I can't stick around for this and then they just concede. That is what this deck is designed to do, just slowly destroy your Pokemon, kind of like what some spiders do with their Venom. Kind of on theme here, isn't it? Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the Pokemon question of the day. Welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon question of the day. We are starting this over again since the new set is about to come out and I would like to give you guys new code cards instead. So hopefully I've given everybody their prizes. If I haven't, let me know in the comment section down below. Sometimes I do forget to do that. But anyways, um, we are so close to 300 subscribers as well. So if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I believe we are three subscribers away as of recording this video. So we are almost hitting another milestone, which is awesome. Thank you, everybody, for your continued support. And let's get into this video's question, which is... One second. <laughs> okay. Which new water-type Pokemon has the ability in the Pokemon TCG card game, Energy Carnival? That is the ability I'm looking for. Which Pokemon has that? Go ahead and put that answer in the comment section down below. And remember, as long as you get the answer right, you get one point. The first two people to three points total will get the first and second place prizes. And then the points will all reset and we will start over again. So just be sure to participate. And I may even just hand out prizes here and there to the third, fourth, fifth place. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, good luck. Put your answer in the comment section down below while you're there. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let's get into the deck list. Today we are looking at another EX Pokemon that I have not covered yet. It'll be Spidop's EX, and I'm surprised I haven't gotten around to Spidop EX. I love kind of control decks, and I haven't even made a control deck around Spidop's. And this one's actually semi-control, not completely control. Maybe I'll get around to making another Spidop's EX deck that has more controlly elements to it when the um, Paldea Evolve comes out. Cause is there a stadium in that set that increases retreat cost as well? I think there might be Orson next set. I don't know. Anyways. The uh, ability here is Trap Territory. Your opponent's extra Pokemon retreat cost is one more colorless energy, which is great. And it has the attack Wire Hank, which we are not going to be using in this build. But you can go ahead and throw in some Grass Energy if you want to, to use this attack. It might increase the power of this deck anyways. So Wire Hang does 90 damage for 2 energy, plus uh, 30 more damage for each colorless in your opponent's extra Pokemon retreat cost. So... Its ability goes towards its attack, but how else are we using this guy here? Well, we have two copies of Spectrier here with the Knight Footsteps attack. We get to choose two of our opponent's Pokemon and put two damage counters on each of them. And now you're wondering, like, what's going on here? We got a 2-2 line of Bebarrel with the Industrious Incisors. This is our draw engine. You know I love me the Squilbit Bebarrel draw engine. And this is what we're using, allowing us to draw up to five cards in our hand. And then we have a 2-2 line of Hisuian Braviary for the Eerie Cry attack. For no energy, we get to put three damage counters on each of our opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So, the combo here is you start with Spectrier, um, ping a couple of their Pokemon with two damage counters, and then Hisuian Braviary is going to finish up the match once our opponent's active Pokemon is stuck. And then there's the one Squovit in the deck, and we'll go over the items here shortly. So, the goal here is to play a bunch of spide ups. We have a 3 3 line, get an opponent's Pokemon stuck in the active so they can't retreat, and then we slowly just whittle them away with our Spectrier and Braviary combo. That is the point. It is a spider. Spiders sometimes slowly kill their prey, so this is what we're doing with Pokemon. We're going to slowly destroy all of our opponent's Pokemon. So we have three copies of Catching Aroma, just so that we can find some Pokemon. We have one copy of Echoing Horn. This could come in handy. It is a situational card. That's why I only have one of them in here. But if there is a Pokemon that your opponent discards that's ripe for the uh, bench lock and active Pokemon lock, like Drapion, for example... You can Echoing Horn that guy back into play. We have four copies of Nest Ball, one copy of Palpad. We want to reshuffle some of the supporters that will go over here soon. Two copies of Pokemon Catcher. Again, this is trying to lock our opponent's active Pokemon in the uh, active spot. So we have three switches. All of our po Pokemon have pretty high uh, switching costs. Four Trekking Shoes so we can get through our deck as fast as possible. Four Ultra Balls, again, just so that we can search out for some more Pokemon. And then I have uh, two sneaky copies here of Dyna Tree Hill. Radiant Serena has seen a lot of play, and Radiant Serena heals off all of the damage that Spectrier does, and we can't have that. So we have two of these so that we can stop our opponent's Pokemon being healed, otherwise our combo will not work. 
We have one copy of Arvin, which I'm thinking about cutting, but you can keep Arvin if you want to. Uh, if you want to because it does give you an item card that you need two copies of boss's orders And we've got one copy of Sarlene so we can recycle some things two copies of judge of course for some little hand disruption One copy of Clara so we can get back either spectators or braviaries just in case remember They are single price Pokemon and we only have four in total of those attackers So Clara can get some of those back and then we have three copies of professor's research just to help us draw one copy of Varihan and just in case we need to grab a card and attach a base guarantee to somebody. One copy of Roxanne for some more hand disruption. And then we got seven basic psychic energy. Now, seven basic psychic energy is a lot, but I wanted to guarantee that I do hit the psychic energy in the first couple of turns because it's so important to attack with Spectrier in the first couple of turns of the game so that you can set up some damage later on for Bravery. That's why I have seven. You could um, put in a couple of grass energy so you can attack with Spide Ops. Or you can add in some energy searches so that you can also attack with spots with grass energy. So there is room for that as well. It also makes Raihan a little bit more uh, better for spot ups. But remember, spot ups is a two prizer, so you don't want them in the active that much. Anyways, that is the deck list. It will be in the description down below. Let's go over some pros and the scores of the deck here. And let's put the mascot back up. Alright, so the pros is you get to lock your opponent in the active spot if they do not play a lot of switching cards, escape ropes. Uh, things like that is very hard for their opponent to retreat the Pokemon with energy and stuff like that So really good for spot ops EX to control that minimal energy We really don't need that much energy We need to attach one energy to Spectre and it's doing its thing We don't attack with spot ups in this build, but you can and it's again That's only two energy so you don't need that much energy and if your opponent sees you playing spot ups A lot of them actually concede right away. It was tough for me to get a, a, a good match showing the power of what spot ups here does but most of the peak people can see it, but anyways, some of the scores here, there's a speed of one. This is a very, very slow deck. We are slowly destroying our opponent's Pokemon. And this is like a almost a control build with a little bit of I'm going to KO things. So I gave it a one. I think this is going to be one of the slowest decks that I've ever played that will get you to winning eventually. The power is two. We do not have a large damage output. Now, if I put grass Pokemon on uh, grass Pokemon, grass energy into this deck, I will bump the power rating up. Uh, just because spot ups can attack and spot ups does a lot more damage than your um, spectators. The consistency is six. We have Bidoof and a bunch of supporters and Squilvit. It helps us set up and we're pretty good to go with that. The draw is seven. Again, the draw is very high because of Bidoof and all of the uh, supporters we have. And the fun is seven. I love just sitting back and just being like, attack, attack. I don't have to do much else. You're stuck. That's all it takes. And so the total score here is a 23. And now let's go over some of the cons here. Of course, the con is this deck is really slow. If your opponent does play... I it did it again. Stay on that one. If your opponent does play uh, switching cards and it's a slow deck, you hope they only play like a couple. You can survive like one or two switching cards. You can't survive like three or four. So this deck does suffer when our opponent plays switching cards. And then another one is cards. I noticed a lot when I was playing this deck, I would get the cards out of sequence. And what I mean by that is I would get the evolution Pokemon and not my basics very much. That's why the consistency is at a six. It would be higher if there wasn't just so much going on. We have three evolution lines which makes it a little bit tricky so that's why i said cards because a lot of the games that i was playing i just wasn't getting the right sequence of cards going and i would have to struggle to get around that and then finally trap the opponent and then finally be able to just slowly take them out but anyways it is a fun deck nonetheless i hope you enjoy it and hey if you like this format let me know the pros and cons and the scores if not tell me as well leave a comment for me let me know if you like how this is all set up I think it's pretty good. It lets me talk about the deck just a little bit more than just the cards that are in it. So anyways, let's go watch this deck in action. Lunatone and Solrock is such a good matchup for this, and yet I only start with a Bidoof here. And nothing else! All of my evolution Pokemon are gone. At least I can attach energy. Next turn I can play a Research, probably. If we don't get Donked, I mean, we can definitely get Donked here if they get two Soul Rocks into play. And three energies in the discard. Pokestop can help get them there, of course. Good thing I didn't play Dynatree Hill right off the bat. There's an energy in the discard already. They got a level ball that gets them another Soul Rock. Now they just need an energy in hand or multiple combinations of things. You guys can figure it out. They need two energies in the discard. There is two energies in the discard. Two Soul Rocks are in play, one energy in hand, and they just straight up win. 
three soul rocks. So, looking like they're most likely going to win here. Um, they should win here. Another soul rock, another energy. Third soul rock. Usually this would be like a decent matchup for us. We could stick Greninja in the active and then just ping away the soul rocks. Oh, they're going to cycle draw. Wow, we have a chance, ladies and gentlemen. You're telling me there's a chance. We're going to use Pokestop. Just see if we can get some item cards off of our off of our deck here. Let's go ahead and do it, whatever. We don't care about discarding too many things. There, there we go, two nest balls. That'll work. Um, let's get a Spectriere. And a Tarantula. Because we're going to be sticking that Radiant Greninja in the active at some point. Alright, we'll go here. Play the Dime Tree. Might as well play the Switch and conserve the energy. Because we're going to research our hand away. Spidops is good. Another Tarantula is good. Squovet is also good. Palpat is decent. I guess I should shuffle back in... Judge and research. Um, we're gonna hold the hand next turn. We can Arvin. We can also Claro. So we're gonna go ahead and do Night Footsteps here, and we're gonna damage the Soul Rocks. We're not gonna worry about Lunatone just yet. I can Arvin next turn. Grab. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to Arvin. Can grab an Ultra Ball with Arvin. Okay, there's the attack with Lunatone. 30, 60, 91. Three energies is just enough. Um, don't want to put Spidops in the active yet. We'll see how many energies they attach to the active Lunatone. Because the more they spread out, the less likely they are able to KO our Spite Ops. But then that requires me to get a switch. So this is doing exactly 120. They don't have any more energies in the discard, so it might be safe to play Spite Ops here. I can Arvin and then hopefully start to set up my stuff. Another Spite Ops. Okay, perfect. Double Spite Ops here. Um, ooh, gonna have to lose Clara and a basic energy, which is fine. Arvin, this will grab us Ultra Ball. I want to guarantee the, the barrel. So we'll do this. This guarantees us the barrel. And then we don't need to play this pow pad just yet, so we can go ahead and scroll it that away, get something else possibly. Capturing Aroma is decent. That could get us a basic Pokemon if we flip tails. And knowing my luck, we're going to flip heads because I wanted a basic. <laughs> That's fine. Um, we'll take nothing. And we'll the barrel for five. Hmm. I don't know if we have another. I don't think we need another Spide Ops. We can always get it back. Braviary is not time yet. I want to get another Spectrier down. So we're going to Ultra Ball these away. Get Spectrier. We're also looking for our boss's orders, which we haven't found yet. And then we'll pass the turn. So we need a switch. Actually, we need a switch and a boss's orders next turn to kind of... Get the Radiant Greninja stuck in the active or a Soul Rock. It doesn't actually matter who we stick in the active here. But we want them to keep discarding energy. We don't want them to attach to any of their Pokemon. I know they play a couple escape ropes and switches. We've seen one escape rope go away, so we have to be wary about that. They are still spreading out the energy, which is fine with me. They're going to boss the Spectriere. For perfect. That's okay. That's another turn that the Spide Ops can take a hit. We're fine with this. Absolutely okay. Come up with Spide Ops again. 
Capturing Aroma, we can play that. See if we flip tails, we do. That'll get us a rufflet. And still don't want to play Palpad yet. I need to squove it. Actually, no, there's no reason to squove it. Let's play Palpad. Get back Clara and Judge. We do need Clara later on. Let's go ahead and bit Barrel. There's Clara. I don't have an energy though. Trekking Shoes. No, we don't want Echoing Horn. Boss. Boss is good here. We're going to play Boss's Orders and we're going to stick Radiant Greninja in the active. And we're not going to squove it because I think I'm going to Clara next turn for Braviary and Spectrier and then an Energy. So the tricky thing is we're going to have to also Silene to get Palpat back as well. Ooh, they get rid of a research. They might have already had a research in hand. They're probably going to be looking for a switching card of some sort. To get this Radiant Greninja out of the active. Hopefully it sticks. If it sticks, great. Radiant Greninja sticking is good. We can go after all of their bench Pokemon as soon as possible. I hope Silene isn't prized. I don't know if it is. Maybe Clara goes for two Spectriators. We're going to have to attach three energy to Radiant Greninja to be able to retreat. And the funny thing is I can just boss another Soul Rock <laughs> to stick this something in the active, which is hilarious. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to attack. They would not have attached an energy to Greninja if they could attack. That is seven energies that we see in play. They probably play around 10 or 12 energies. Let's go ahead and Clara get back these and two energies. We can evolve. We can play a Spectrier. We can do this. We can thin the Ultra Ball out of our hand. Check the deck. What do we have left? We have one boss. Silene is in there, so we do want to flip at least one heads with Silene. Which is good. We have a switch in there. We have two switches. So things are in the deck. Let's grab Bidoof so that I can squovet it away. And squove it. Put those three on the bottom. Hopefully we hit into a switch. Pokemon Catcher is also good. We'll hold on to it though. There is the switch, perfect. Switch into Spectrier and Night Footsteps. We're gonna go after the Soul Rocks and the Lunatone. Keep going from there. That's five prizes on the board as soon as we can start attacking with Braviary. Actually, all six prizes are on the board, so we're actually gonna want to KO all of these Pokemon. They do throw a research. All right. They're looking for their switching card and they concede. Spide Ops is what we do. The slow killing victory deck. Origin for Palkia. Okay. Not too bad. Our starting hand though is a little bit abysmal. Unfortunately. So we'll see how our opponent sets up. Hopefully they don't set up too well. Bidoof. Radiant Greninja. Bidoof is going to be the target. No energy, so I think I'm okay. Ooh, Arvin's a good supporter right now, so we will Nest Ball. Grab Bidoof. Um, we can play Arvin. And I think we'll just go for another Nest Ball. We have the barrel in hand. Nest Ball seems good. We can get Spectrier out. Or should I get Swovit? We'll get Spectrier. Maybe the argument was to get Swovit, but next turn I can at least draw one card. With Pabarrel? We play Pabarrel. I can also boss too. I didn't want to boss this turn. Next turn I can boss Bidoof if it turns into a Pabarrel. 
And then we can get that guy stuck in the active. Heavy Ball gets them nothing, but they get to see their prizes. Ultra Ball might go for Bibero or Palkia. Echoing Horn, Melanie. Okay. There's Bibero. No Water Engines in the discard yet, which is a good sign. Industrious Incisors. Hopefully we don't get judged. I mean, I wouldn't mind a judge too much. Temple Sinnoh's fine. No Water Engines? Ooh, we are rolling. They are not set up very well. We're rolling. Ooh, and we got the Spide Ops. Okay. So we are going to play the boss. We are going to stick Bibero into the active. We are going to play Spide Ops. And then we can Bibero for three. Maybe get a Switch. Okay, Capturing Aroma is good. We'll play that. Tails? Oh, we didn't want a Heads. Wanted a Tails there. Um, we're not going to get anything. I don't have a Nest Ball. Trekking Shoes could get us something. But I don't want to clog up my hand. It's okay. We'll grab a Spite Ops. Trekking Shoes. I'd hate to discard Clara right now, but can't take it. Silene, at least we can play that next turn. Bounce their Stadium. And unfortunately, we have to pass. Uh, we're going to have to play Silene to bring back... Nest Ball and Trekking Shoes or something like that? Oh, they're gonna boss my Bib Barrel? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay with me. We still need to find the switch anyways. So right now we're all stuck. Nest Ball's good. Play that. And our opponent concedes because they know that we're gonna just stick them in the active. This is what happens when we play Spide Ups. A lot of people just concede for some reason. All right, some kind of water deck here. Oh, that is a... Wow. That was a pretty Squeakoon V card. I haven't seen that one before. Like, actually, I think I've seen it leaked back in the day when it was first coming out or whatever, but I actually haven't seen it. So this looks like a Suicune V deck. Um, uh, I don't know who we're going to stick in the active, but Spectre probably is going to go down next turn. 20, 40, 60, 80... 100, 120. Yeah, Spectre is going to go down next turn unless I do something crazy. That was a good top deck. Let's go ahead and Bidoof. Tarantula. Basic energy. Let's just throw the Dynatree in there and Judge. I know I had the barrel in my hand, but I want to set up a little bit more. They had a lot of cards in their hand. Another Spectre is good and Research for next turn. Throw that down. Capturing Aroma. See if we can get another Tarantula. And we can. This is good. We're going to target the Suicunes for now. Next turn we have another Spectrier attack and research. So we're hoping that they play some Pokemon that I can stick in the active that I'm not too scared of. Unfortunately, I'm scared of Greninja. Um, but I don't think they can power it up in one turn. It looks like Candice. Can dice. All right. Corquavo, Palkia, V-Star, Energy. Okay, so they are playing Palkia, V-Star. Corquavo as well. Didn't get to see it very well, so I think it has an ability. I want to Google it, but I'm not going to right now. Fleet-Footed. I know they have the attack. We don't have a way to stick something yet, but we're okay. I'm not sure what Corquavo does. And we also have to be wary of Palkia's V-Star ability. Did they only get one energy? I'm sure they have another. Okay, here comes a Blizzard Rondo. They have a bunch of stuff in their hand, but nothing too crazy. Looks like we are just going to stick the Quaxley and Gradient Greninja as well. Opponent gets a prize. We'll go up with our other Spectrier. And we have Research in hand, which is perfect. Rufflet, we can throw that down. Attach the energy and research. Roll fit's good because that's the next turn things. Um, Spide Ops, yep. We'll take it. Trekking Shoes. Yes, we would love Squilvit. Play Squilvit and then we can also... Hmm. Ultra Ball away. We'll keep the Ultra Ball. Let's get rid of the basic energies. We can always car those back. That's a barrel for us. Don't need a second Spide Ops just yet. Let's go ahead and nest dash. I don't need these two cards right now. 
Capturing Aroma is good. We'll play it. See if we can flip heads this time. Get another Spite Ops. Perfect. So now that we have a Spite Ops in play, we can possibly get a capture uh, Pokemon Catcher and stick somebody in the active. There is the Pokemon Catcher. So that we don't have to worry about these Suicunes attacking us just yet. Although we do flip tails. So that sucks. Um, we'll go ahead and do Night Footsteps and then we'll ping everybody. Could attack with Radiant Greninja because they have Palkia. We'll do that. I wanted to ping a Suicune. I was thinking about putting another damage on Suicune, but they don't have Palkia set up just yet. And we can't Echoing Horn them just yet, but maybe we can get that Quaxley KO'd before they evolved into Quaquavel or whatever. Another Candace. This might get them their Palkia V. Manaphy. We don't mind Manaphy. As a matter of fact, I want you to play Manaphy. Rare candy into Quaquavel. What does this do? Once during your turn, you may attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. That's a bummer. They do play down Manaphy. That's good. That is our target then. Actually, Quaquavel might also be a target. It would be nice to be able to get Manaphy some damage on him because then I can KO it quicker. But we have our prizes mapped out already. And our Spectrier is going to go down. If I do get back into the Clara, that'll be what it will what will happen. They are powering up Radiant Greninja, but we will be able to evolve the Rufflet. And we should not bench another Rufflet. Unless we get a boss. I'm going to hold off on benching our Rufflet. Especially if we can get a boss this turn. Radiant Greninja is very scary. Tarantula. Okay, so we can do the nest ball. I don't think I have another. I do have another spy hops. But it doesn't make sense to do it. Boss is in there. We have one boss in there and one Pokemon catcher. Not the greatest of odds to get what we want. So that means a boss is prized. Okay. Ultra ball away these. Let's just put you on the bottom of the deck. Oh no, we need Braviary. We only have one Braviary, so we're going to need Clara next turn anyways. Unless we can find Boss here and stick the Quaquavel in the active. Judge. Hmm. Judge isn't great. Okay, we still... Well, we do have Raihan. Raihan can get us the Pokemon Catcher. We do not want that. Arvin also gets us the Pokemon Catcher. Decisions, decisions. A research might get us the Pokemon Catcher too, but this guarantees it. That's Raihan then. Go to Squovit. And we're going to grab Pokemon Catcher and hope we flip heads. I can't boss this turn, so that's why I'm going for Pokemon Catcher. Play it. And we do flip heads. That's good. We are going to stick the Quok. Quavel in the active. It does take three energy to attack. And we'll go ahead and Eerie Cry. And we're going to start working our way to get these KOs. Unfortunately, the other Braviary is prized, so Clara is going to go for a Spectrier and Braviary at some point. Our opponent has a huge hand, though. We're going to judge them this next turn after I play Ultra Ball. Well, no, we're not. We're going to find a boss, probably. It's a shame our other bosses prized and Braviary, two very important cards. But this is an interesting deck. They do have Palkias. I don't know how many energies they have in their hand though. They've got two in the disc, three in the discard. Yurida might get them a switch. That's not good. They've got seven energies. There's Palkia V and a switch, unfortunately. So Braviary is going to go down. Unless they come up with Radiant Greninja. So there's Palkia. That can attach to energies. They're going to Radiant Greninja. Okay. Let's see if they use Quaquavel's ability to go to a different Pokemon. They are. 
go to Palkia. So Corquavel is still our target. And as long as we can stick Corquavel in the active, we should be okay. Switch into Radiant Greninja. This is good. You can only KO our Squovit, and I don't mind you KOing Squovit. This is actually good. I don't mind Radiant Greninja being in the active. However, they could do Moonlight Shuriken twice unless I judge them. I might judge them this turn. I think I'm going to judge them. I know they have Palkia V-Star in hand. And they probably have more Water Energy in hand. So I think a judge is the best play here. And I'm going to do that. They left Braviary alive. So judge it is. Here's the Clara though. Darn it. <laughs> that gets us just Spectre or it. Okay. Judge it is. Let's get those guys out of here. Alright, we can Ultra Ball away these two. They're dead cards now. So now we need Boss, Clara, Silene, Palpat is also prized. Palpat is also prized. Now the problem is they can do another Moonlight Shuriken. Which makes me hesitant to play this Rufflet down again. But we could get into Clara. Let's go ahead and not play the Capturing Aroma just yet. Um, let's do Trekking Shoes. No, no research. Another Switch. Okay, we can burn those cards. Um, we'll just toss that onto the Barrel. Uh, we'll toss this Capturing Aroma. We don't need it. Tails for sure. Not going to grab Bidoof. That could stay in the deck. We've got 12 cards left. And we can go ahead and Eerie Cry. Do some more damage to everybody. Now, unfortunately, Radiant Greninja is going to go down. And they will come up with a different Pokemon. That's why I want to find Boss. Hopefully, though, they do not have 2 Energy or Palkia V-Star out in their hand. Hopefully, that Judge messed them up quite a bit. We also have access to Roxanne, too. Unless I got rid of it already. Ah. Roxanne is still in the deck or it's prize. We have a lot of good prize cards. They can sealed cards. That's one energy gone. They can't retreat this rating Greninja. They can use Switch, which they might have another. Six cards in hand. It's getting tricksy, folks. They just pass. Okay. And there's Clara. Though, I can't play Clara just yet. Braviary needs to go down. Kind of want to stick Quaquavel back in the active. Ugh. I know if I play that and they attack with Raining Greninja, it's going to get KO'd. Just your synthesis for one. Arvin? That's fine, we can play this guy. We can just get this Nest Ball and burn it. That's okay. Really scared to play the Rufflet. Because all they need is two energy in their hand and they can KO it. Clara doesn't necessarily get me there. I would play the Rufflet when I can boss something else into the act. Or next turn when this gets KO'd. So next turn the Radiant Greninja is going to go down. We're halfway to KOing Suicune. Quaquavel's next. Opponent has three prizes. There's a Melanie that doesn't go onto Greninja, though. It does draw them three cards. How many energies? That's five energies in play. Ten energies in play. They play a lot of energy. Or two energy attackers. Poke gear. Okay, they've already played a supporter, so I don't care that they get a supporter out of their deck. Irida guarantees them a switch next turn, which is fine. I can play the Rufflet down safely. And then I can boss Quaquavel. We'll get to take a prize. We have switches in hand. Nine cards left. We still have Silene, I believe. 
our prizes are bad. Very, very bad. We have one pal pad. Concealed cards. There goes another energy from their hand. That's 11 energies. They could have... I guess they don't see a point in attacking with Radiant Greninja. They pass. Okay. See if we get a boss. Our third switch. Play down the rufflet. And I guess we'll just Industrious and Scissors for one again. Nest Balls. Not needed. Down to seven cards. Silene's in there. Roxanne's in there. We're going to lose our Braviary next turn. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to take a turn to boss and then start going at them again. Unless we get another Braviary off the active. So, Eerie Cry it is. We'll take the KO. Don't have to worry about Radiant Greninja anymore. Maybe number five is the other Braviary and we don't have to play Clara. No, it's a research. We're going to have to burn a lot of our switching cards. So the problem is have to play Clara at some point. I have to boss as well. Let's see what Irida grabs them. Escape rope, Palkia V-Star. So they'll have an escape rope in their hand. How much is V-Star hitting? Now I want to Roxanne them. 220. All right. 220 is a good number. Spide Ops can take a hit. Basic energy. Guess we will Clara this turn. Braviary. Could get Squovit. Squovit does seem good for this. Instead of a Spectrier. Let's do Braviary and Squovit. can play a Squovit. I can give him an energy so I can retreat at some point. I can switch into the Spide Ops. And then I can Nest Dash. That way I preserve my switches. And this gets me four cards. This guarantees me a boss and a rock sand. And we can pass the turn. So we know they have an escape rope. We play another Suicune V down, that's fine. Oh, I think I gave them enough to get the KO by playing Squovit. Ah. Oh, they had a boss's orders for the Spide Ops, anyways. Oh, man. That was tough. Not having access to both bosses. Right? Yep, we only had one boss. Not having access to both bosses really makes this deck a little bit harder. And then not having access to Braviary as well. Our prizes in that matchup were really tough. But it just goes to show you that this deck doesn't always function as you want it to. But it was pretty good there. It, it stood its own. All right, folks. You got to see the deck work in action. Two of our um, games our opponent conceded because they couldn't see a way to win. Simply because we can stick their stuff in the active and they're just completely stuck. So this deck does do what it's supposed to do. You have to watch out for decks that play a lot of switching cards. Like in the last match. But they were able to, I guess, work their way around with the massive amounts of energy that they had on their Pokemon. And we just couldn't really find our boss orders. Our prizes were really mapped against us in that matchup. But what can you do? It is what it is. That's what happens. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. And we'll see you next time on Crash Played Gaming.